Prospect! It's Jaron Duran! Every year, there's always buzz for who the next top prospects will be to get the call to the show. Griffey in 89, A-Rod in 94, Strasburg in 2010, Harper in 2012, Bryant in 2015, Vlad Jr. in 2019. This year, we saw the highly anticipated debuts of Jared Kelnick and Logan Gilbert for the Mariners on the same night, and we'll eventually see guys like Wander Franco, Adley Rushman, and Spencer Torkelson. However, while there are a ton of good prospects out there, one guy in particular isn't getting too much attention, and his his name is Jaron Duran. Not a highly touted player coming out of college, Duran was ranked number 170 by Baseball America and was drafted 220th overall by the Red Sox in the seventh round out of California State University. He was actually drafted as a second baseman, which is where he played all three seasons at Cal State, but scouts viewed him as more of an outfielder due to his speed, which was one thing he really excelled at. He was considered one of the fastest players in the 2018 draft and was given a 70 grade for his run tool. His speed helped him stretch a lot of singles into doubles and doubles into triples. However, while he did have speed, he needed to make a lot of adjustments with his swing. While he was patient at the plate and made solid contact at times, there was still a lot of swing and miss in his game. However, while the Red Sox knew he was still very raw, they also thought he had a ton of potential if they worked with him to simplify his swing and his approach. After working with Duran to simplify his mechanics and approach at the plate, it really showed during his time from low A ball to high A ball in the minor leagues. Duran showed promise right off the bat. Over 107 games, he hit 372 with a 954 OPS, 7 home runs, 54 RBIs, and 42 stolen bases. While the numbers he put up in single A were very impressive and earned him a promotion to double A Portland, we would see Duran struggle much more at the next level. In 82 games, while he did steal 28 bases, he would only hit 250 with a 309 on base and only a 325 slugging. He did show some improvements down the stretch though, hitting 273 with a 713 OPS. With the 2020 minor league season in shambles due to the pandemic and only being able to play only at the Red Sox alternate site, Duran would have to continue to work on his offensive game over in the Puerto Rican Winter League. After a slow start in which he only hit 236 over 16 games in the regular season of the Winter League, he would really heat up in the Winter League World Series, going 5 for 15 with two homers, two doubles, driving in six runs, and scoring seven. This performance would earn him the MVP honors. He also played for Puerto Rico in the Caribbean Series, hitting 400 with a homer, two extra base hits, and an on base of 400, along with a slugging of 640 over seven games. As of right now, Duran finds himself playing for the AAA Worcester Woo Sox and he's off to a solid start. At the time of making this video, he's played in 12 games, hitting 283 with four homers, a 389 on base, and a 609 slugging. In Boston's outfield currently, Alex Verdugo is entrenched in center field and Hunter Renfro has been coming alive as of late over in right field. In left field, however, newcomer Franchi Cordero has gotten off to a slow start, only putting together a 448 OPS up to this point. If he continues to stay in this funk, it's very possible we could see Jaron Duran sooner rather than later, kind of like how Jacoby Ellsbury forced his way into the major leagues all the way back in 2007.